Have you ever been in a conversation where someone casually throws out the term low IQ to insult someone? It's almost become trendy, hasn't it? But here's the real question. How many of these people have actually taken an IQ test? And no, not one of those quick online quizzes, but standardized assessments administered over several years of development. Well, I have. Most people don't realize this, but IQ is not a fixed number. Your score can shift with age, life experience, and yes, even stress. A single test at one point in time does not encapsulate the complexities of the human mind. So why do we treat it like it's an immutable label, a brand we can slap on others to uplift ourselves? Let me share something personal. This IQ talk even hit my own household with a slick remark about Louisianians like myself being low IQ. So I responded that I've actually taken multiple IQ tests. My score upon entering college was 141, which places me in the top 1%. Other such cognitive tests place me in the top 2.5% of the population. The immediate response was that I'm weird for actually mentioning numbers, facts, and my actual IQ score. I completely agree. I am weird and deviant because most people talk confidently about things that they know little to nothing about. But isn't it sad that citing factual information is considered odd while making unfounded assertions about someone's intelligence is deemed acceptable? Funny, right? Because I never bring up IQ in conversations. Until now. Ironically, I could have been mislabeled as low IQ myself as a kid. I struggled with reading early on, but thanks to tutoring, I went from below average to reading at above grade level. Shout out to all the tutors that changed lives. They deserve way more credit. Here's the kicker. IQ doesn't define success. Consider William James Sittis, a man recorded to have one of the highest IQs in history. Despite his extraordinary potential, he lived a relatively unremarkable life, at least by societal standards. This begs the question, what value does high IQ hold if it doesn't translate into meaningful contributions? Merit isn't a number on a cognitive test. It's about what you do, the value you bring to others, and the challenges you overcome. So maybe it's time we rethink the way that we use IQ. Let's challenge the notion that it's a single metric that can define one's worth or potential. Let's stop weaponizing it. Instead, let's focus on merit, actions, and the test of life that truly define one's worth. So the next time someone throws around IQ as an insult, let's remember that true value is demonstrated through actions, resilience, and the positive impact that we have on others. Maybe we should all be a bit weird and start talking about meaningful deeds. If you found this perspective valuable, check out my other videos where we dive into unconventional ideas and challenge stereotypes. And if you're into these types of discussions, then consider subscribing. Let's build a community where intellect isn't a weapon, but a tool for growth. Stay curious, stay compassionate, and as always, follow the truth.